concrete is one of the most durable, versatile, and widely used building materials in the world. You might see it in your driveway, or in the floors and walls of your local church, or fast food restaurant. The bridges and roadways you drive on to get to school or work are also likely made of concrete. Unfortunately, most of us have never seen how it's made. Customers wishing to buy concrete can place a call to their local ReadyMix producer and talk to a concrete dispatcher. The dispatcher is trained to ask questions about what the customer is pouring. This is to ensure that they get the right type of concrete for their particular project. They might ask questions like, what strength of concrete do you need? Are you pouring inside or outside? Where are you pouring and when do you need your concrete? The dispatcher enters the information into their computer. The software they use has been specifically designed for dispatching concrete. Once the information has been entered, the dispatcher can see all the orders for that day on one screen. They can see how many trucks they have available to load, as well as where the rest of their fleet is at any given time. When one of the orders is ready to load, the dispatcher drops a ticket to the batchman. The batchman receives the ticket for a load of concrete. Concrete is made from a mixture of cement, aggregate, typically rock and sand, water, and admixtures. The batchman is responsible for reviewing the weights and quantities of materials to make sure that the batch is correct. A misstep here could mean that the resulting concrete mixture could fail during testing. When he is ready, the batchman starts the load. The entire loading process is computer controlled from start to finish. This screen shows the batchman all of the materials that are being weighed up in the plant to create the load of concrete and if they meet the specified tolerances. Concrete admixtures fill up into bottles like these. These chemicals are used to produce concrete with different properties based on what the customer has asked for. At the same time the admixtures are batching, water is being metered into the truck, and the cement and aggregates are being weighed up in separate scales. The cement is weighed up in a scale directly under the storage silo, but above the truck load hopper. The rock falls into the scale until it reaches the target weight. Large gates then close, shutting off the flow of material. Next, sand is weighed up in the same large hopper as the rock. When the correct weight of sand has been reached on the scale, the computer closes the gates once again. Now that the correct weights of material have been weighed up, the mixer driver can pull under the plant and rev up his truck. There are a series of fins inside the drum of a mixer that blend all the materials together to make concrete. The batchman can now click load truck on his computer. This starts the conveyor that runs material from the scale into the mixer. It can take as little as a minute to load a batch of concrete. The aggregate rides up the belt into the load hopper of the truck. Cement begins falling into the truck after 75% of the water, admixtures, and a few thousand pounds of aggregate are introduced into the mixer. This ensures that the materials are blended into a good cohesive mix. Now that the truck is loaded, the driver verifies that the concrete is at the proper slump or thickness. Once verified to be correct, the driver heads to the job site to deliver his load. So, the next time you see one of these big trucks, you will know there's a lot more going on inside that drum than you might have realized.